conveniently Good. enough, we don't have to look for. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Not gonna get any help on this one. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Um, okay. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride at her wedding. That's kind of sad. And they say romance is dead. That's kind of sad. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Well, that doesn't sound that now easy. Go and give my best to the bride. That doesn't sound entirely easy, but whatever. We will do what we can. So let's go ahead and get that one selected here. All right, well, we are here in solitude. Let's try to find where this wedding is. Is it like up there? Let's try to figure this out. Um, for some reason it says I'm facing away from it. I guess we'll. Whoa! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. All right. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your uh, oh inheritance. Oh, and sorry for your loss. Nobody I know died. Like that's it. Got to go. Who died? I, I seriously don't think I know anybody who died, but whatever. Um, how did that guy die, I wonder? And why would he have left me money? I don't know. Whatever. That's weird. Very, very strange. I do recognize that guy's name, but we really weren't that close. I don't know why he would have left me money. Alright, cool beans. We found our way in here. So this is where the wedding is actually occurring. Oh, looks like it's right over here. Alright, so that's the bride. We'll just chill over here for a moment. A marriage of both love and political advantage. Rare thing indeed. How the heck am I supposed to do this? It says what? She have a bonus when she addresses the crowd. When is she gonna address the crowd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to stand near you. You're talking too much. Can I talk to her? What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness for me. It's a little sad. These people seem so happy. We sure are. Please, enjoy yourself. We sure are, friends. So everybody's sitting down? Yeah, people are starting to sit down. Alright. So I'm gonna chill back here, I think. Can I, like, hide in the bush? Oh, yeah. Except I keep falling off the tree. Are you ever going to address the crowd? Okay. And it's a shooter. See how this works. Are you, are you addressing the crowd? You are not addressing the crowd, are you? Where are you going? Is she mingling? 
She just went inside. She's going inside, isn't she? Yep, she's operating the door. Why didn't she address the crowd? My nephew, the well, I'm gonna wait like an hour and see if they come outside again. Seems kind of weird. Nah, I guess she's not coming back out, is she? Wait, she's addressing everybody from inside? What the hell is happening? She's addressing everybody, but she's inside the building. That really makes a lot of sense. Oh, is she like up on the roof here? I guess so. Where are you going? Going back downstairs? This is very confusing. So was she like actually up on the balcony and I didn't see her? Please enjoy the festivities. She's kind of addressing the crowd. This is weird. Yeah, I think she was up there addressing the crowd and I didn't notice. Huh. Well, what if I wait another hour? What happens? I would like that bonus. Are you going to address the crowd again or am I just going to have to kill you? This makes no sense. Well, it may just come out. All right, she's going upstairs. Let's see if she's addressing the crowd. That would be pretty cool if she'd go address the crowd again. Just pop an arrow into her head. All right, the Yarl guy is going up. I'm going to use a good arrow to make sure that we actually get a, a clean kill out of this, too. So, what does a lot of damage? 24? You're worthy of a Daedric arrow, I suppose. Alright, that's her right there. Cool. Good people of solitude. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Be careful. I'm running away! Running away! You saw nothing. You saw nothing. I'd probably get to that gate, no problem. Man, the city's all like deserted and stuff. I have a feeling that, uh, what's her nose is back there murdering a lot of people. Is this guard gonna give me trouble? It sure is. What say you in your defense? If I have to pay this guy off, I really don't care. Yeah, I'll pay him off. I will pay him off. I'd rather not have a bounty in solitude right now. Really, everybody's still fighting? Why did I even bother paying off the bounty? Oh, they're all killing that person. Is that a storm cloak? No, it's Captain Somebody. Well, that fight has nothing to do with me. So let's see if we can fast travel out of this place. I said. Let's see if we can fast travel out of this place. Where did the Brotherhood Sanctuary end up? There she is. She better pay me more than a thousand gold. I really hope so. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. Huh. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. That sounds handy. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. 15 iron gold. Okay, so I still profited. What did we get out of that? We got Spectral Assassin. Did I have to actually like go through a book or did I just learn that? 
guess I just learned that. That's probably, oh god, lag. That's probably a fairly useful spell. Let's go see, is it under, it's probably Conjure, right? Spectral, hmm. Sure isn't. It sure isn't. I guess that guy is better than that, so let's get rid of the Bone Man. We'll unfavorite the Bone Man. We'll put the Mist person here. So where the hell is that ability? Is it just under active effects or powers or... Summons? Okay, there it is. That's probably not a terrible thing to have. So, let's go ahead and activate our next quest so we actually can figure out where we're going. I haven't activated this wall, have I? Why is it all glowy? Huh. It's all glowy. I don't really know. What are you talking about? You weren't there, you jerk. Taking credit for my actions? What a... Unbelievable. I don't even want any of that stuff. So, there's just a spider down there. That's something. Where the hell is... Oh, there you are. Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. Sounds good to me. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Uh, Olava what? is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Sounds good to me. And... I don't really want to talk to her about any of that stuff. Where are we supposed to steal the, sh the travel thing from? Well, we'll figure that out when we get outside. Alright, now is there more than one quest marker? There's one over that way. That seems to pretty much be the only one that's here, so... Is that for both of these ones? Alright, let's go do this one. Let's go take care of this one. Alright, so... Is it just in this building, or is it in the other building? It's in the other building. Well, what's going on here? Oh, that's the guy we're after. Am I just going to be able to bust in here and do this with nobody caring? Citizen. Hmm. So where is this actually showing up? It is just right there on the table. You must be lost. The tavern is down the road. Um, how would I do this with nobody noticing? Trust me. We have nothing. Perhaps well, let's go ahead and save first. Just in case things kind of go awry in here. I'm thinking my invisibility is probably the way to go unless I like You must be lost. The tavern is down the road of these. Did I just do that successfully? I sure did. That actually went pretty dang well. Alright, so that guy's wandering off. I think what I'm going to do is just wait right here for like... We'll give him a four hour head start, see if he makes it to a town. 